Hi, my name is Karen and I'm with CK Customs PA. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a grid or a chart using Cricut Design Space. Let's go ahead and get started. In Cricut Design Space, you'll need to start with a line. To create that line, I'm going to use the basic square shape. I'm going to unlock the width and height, and then I'm going to adjust it to be a line. This line is going to be the thickness of one of the lines for your chart. You'll want to have an idea before you start of how many squares or lines you may need to create the grid you're trying to create. Let's say we're trying to make a weekly chore chart. We know we'll need a section for each day of the week and let's say that there are five chores that are going to go on the chart. So we'll need a grid that is seven by five. I'm going to take the line that is horizontal. We know we need five sections going down. So I'm going to duplicate it to create a total of six. So we have a top and bottom as well. I'm going to highlight all of those lines and I'm going to use the align drop down and I'm going to align them left. I could align them to the right or even center horizontally knowing that they're all the same size, they will all line them up the same way. Now I know I'm going to need more space between each section. So I'm going to take my bottom one and drag it down. I'm going to select everything. This shows me here that with the current top and bottom, the entire chart would be 3.319 inches. I think I'm going to need it a little bigger. So I'm going to drag that bottom one down further. And I'm going to check again to see where I'm at. Now maybe you're going to be placing this chart onto something like a dry erase board or on a shadow box or whatever you're placing on. So you may already know your dimensions of what you need to make it. And you could just move your top and bottom line to be that distance apart from each other. Here, they're 4.639 inches. That's going to be good enough for this demonstration. With everything still selected, I'm going back to my align and I am going to distribute them vertically. You can see by the way the little icon is going that it is horizontal lines that will be evenly distributed between my top and bottom. I'm going to come back to align and I'm going to push it back to the left just in case when I was adjusting my bottom, anything had shifted. All right, we have our lines for the horizontal part. I'm going to select one of them and I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to come up to my top menu and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees to make a vertical line. Rather than creating a fresh line, this keeps the dimensions and the thickness of that line. Now, knowing that we have all these horizontal lines, a specific height, 4.639 in this case, I can select this and change the size to match. I'll need to unlock my size so that the width does not change, but I can adjust it to 4.639. Now we know that our line is the same as the distance we have on our horizontal lines. And we know, again, we wanted the days of the week. And maybe we even wanted um, an extra column to write what the chore name is. So we really need eight sections, meaning line, nine lines total. So let's go ahead and duplicate our horizontal. So we have a total of nine. There are three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll scroll over and we can see those. Let me bring those. I'll select all and let's align. Go ahead and top align. Again, in this case, top, bottom, or center would have worked. They are the same height. Let's come back to our horizontal line and see what is our width. It is 
So between the first one and the last one, we need it to be 4.806. Let's see how close we are. We are 4.0. So again, we are unlocked and I can adjust the full size here to be 4.806. I can take those and I can use my align and ensure that they are also distributed evenly. But I think they were because of the way I duplicated them. So now I should be able to group them for ease of not um, having them adjust on me and drag it over my horizontal lines. I'm going to go ahead and hit undo and I want to group my horizontal lines and you'll see why in a moment. If I group those and I group these, I can then put them on top of each other and not worry if they aren't exactly lined up. So we're not lined up here. We're not lined up here, but I have two groups. I can select both groups. I can use a line and I can center align them. Now they are all connected. When you go to cut it, you still have individual lines at this point. So my recommendation is to select everything and weld can then click make it and you'll see on your canvas you have an evenly distributed chart or grid. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.